back. Come on, back, back, back. Ah, I love it. it. Hey, mom. Hi, mom. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, Hi, good. Oh, so so great to see you. Where are my nieces? Yeah, where are they? Oh, oh God. God. God, who knows? Wow. This is incredible. Look at this house. Oh, excuse the mess. Oh, How's the mood going? Oh, it's so slow. Oh, I know. Oh, come on in. Yeah. Where's Dina? Oh. oh, she's out with her best friend from college. Thank you. Hi, my love. Well, you should tell her that I have job opportunities for her in the desert and that she needs to come and stay with me for a little while. I will be sure to tell her that. <laughs> come, sit, sit. Oh. And Vivi, look at you. Have you lost weight? She looks beautiful. No, I don't think so. Well, Ava, why are you letting her lose weight? Patty, she isn't losing weight. She's exactly the same as she was the last time you saw her. <laughs> Vivi, you're too skinny. So, this is the figure he fell in love with. Vivi, I want to hear all about your tennis player, okay? But first, I brought gifts for my latest travels. Oh. This is for Dina. Oh, I mm. thought it was for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Vivi, this is for you. Oh, thank you. I wish I had more time to shop. Vivi, you need to come with me next time. So how was Spain? Amazing. The most beautiful place I've ever visited. Oh, the shopping centers were huge. I'm gonna find myself a gorgeous Spaniard and move to Spain. <laughs> Okay, can I give anybody coffee? Well, yeah, I think mm. I can take some coffee. Maybe a little <laughs> champagne. <laughs> yeah. I have to go with the stuff. Hello, Mom's here. Oh, hi, hi. Vivi! Hi. Vivi, happy graduation. This is for oh, you. Thank you. And there's a little something in here, too. But listen, let me tell you about this. This is lavender. I'm Patty, sorry. Patty, how was your drive? I'm get you something that was bigger. good. Bigger. You know, I'm kind of short on money. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a widow, you know, and it's like... This is okay. I have to watch my pennies. <laughs> you need any help with your luggage? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mom, you want to take this off my hand? No, we can leave it in the car for the time being. You're not staying until graduation? No, I had some patients that I couldn't reschedule. I'm just so backed up on my work. But I had to see the house and my loves. Uh, however, I will be back on Friday morning with my father, too. How come you didn't come? Oh, he's watching the dogs. Yeah. He could have brought the dogs. We love dogs here. Yeah, well, you know, the drive up and back, it's a little much for him. But, so, Vivi, what should we do for graduation? We must go shopping. Oh, yeah, I can use a shopping trip. Yes, I can see that. What is this material? This isn't even silk or cotton. It's juicy. Oh. Well, we'll get you some quality stuff. Quality materials and, and labels. But before any of that, I want to hear all about the man in love with my niece. I did send him an email the day after the event, but he didn't reply to it. Well, I want to see a picture of this boy. Yeah, and he made such a scene at his own event, and it was in front of everyone. Okay, here's a modeling picture from one of his endorsements. <clears throat> oh, wow. He's good looking. Look at those broad shoulders. He's a very nice looking young man. He's not that nice looking. Uh, and he loves my niece? It's just that after everything that's happened between us, if he has such strong feelings for me, then why isn't he acting on them? How do you control yourself? What? You two could be the face of a company that I'm working for. Yeah. Wait, what? You two could be the face of a company. I think I'm going to pass on mixing business and pleasure, Auntie. I think we're way past that at this point. Well, he could wear the company logo on his outfit and everything. I mean, uh, Hetty, I just think that's a really bad idea. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm going to pass. Are you sure? 
Yes. You know, how about if I get really desperate and there's like absolutely no other option? Then we'll go with that. <laughs> Suit yourself. Well, if you ask me, Vivi, he's just the classic narcissist. I just don't like that he likes to play all these games. That's really not the only problem at this point, Dad. You know, Viv, if you guys would have gotten together, the drawings wouldn't have stopped, and he could have drawn you a picture and told you what he wanted to eat, and then you tried to figure out what the picture was, and then you'd have to make it for him. What? The boy can't communicate. He loves you. Maybe he loves you like a sister. Um, he already has a sister. I don't think he's looking for another one to love like one. No, he's not looking for another sister. No, he really loves her. My inside is telling me. You guys just don't understand. I've been waking up every single night with anxiety over it. I can't sleep. Honey, you're not the only one waking up with anxiety. Well, you know, a guy like that, he's probably carrying a lot of STDs. I mean... Hey. Yeah, don't been. talk about him that way. You know, Henny might be right when you hang out with low-life people. Dad! Eduardo, stop it. You know, your grandfather was the only man that I've ever been with. I'm a widow, you know. And you never say no to your husband. Okay, Mom, you see, this is why I really didn't want to talk about this with everyone. Why don't we just change the subject? Good idea. Ed, Ed. And guess who I saw the other day? Just guess, guess, guess. I don't know. Darla. And she's married and she has two boys. Ed, see what you missed. You sure did. That's enough, Mom. Come on. Good boy. Oh. Honey, he loves you. I had a dream about it. I told you, Abraham. Yeah. What was the dream about? Holden had this, this big gold watch, and he kept going back and forth between Vivian and, and this older woman. The older woman? Was uh, that the girlfriend? Come on, Dad. We don't use that word in front of me. Okay, but, but at the end, Holden gave the watch to Vivian, and the older woman disappeared. My senses and my dreams are never wrong. I have a good sense about this boy. I have to pee. You know, V, I know a really cute Greek boy. He's college educated and his family owns banks. He's not too tall, but he sure is cute. I'm sure I have a picture somewhere. Vivi, you're losing weight because you're not touching a thing. Do you want some of this baguette? I got it from that great place out in the desert. You, you know I can't eat that. It's gluten. Oh, are you still doing that? Yes, I'm still doing that. I have to, it's for my health. Whatever you want, you eat. Did you tell Holden that you can't eat food? I can eat food, I can't eat gluten. And yes, he knows. And he was very compassionate and understanding about it, wasn't he, Vivi? Yes, very. See, that's where you went wrong. Wait, why? He left me the love note, like, right after I told him. You can't tell men that you can't eat food. They're not going to want to deal with that. Hey! Hey, Dad! If uh, a girl had a food restriction, would that be a reason you wouldn't want to go out with her? I get what Eddie's saying. I mean, how are you supposed to go out? Not everything revolves around food. It does when you're dating. Well, I might as well eat something, because I'll never have Vivi's figure. Here, let me see that little banker picture. Oh, sure. You guys don't understand. My feelings aren't involved here. It's not bad. Right? Yeah. Okay, you know what? You just have to stop it now. Do you see? She, you've upset her. Her feelings are hurt. I mean... Look, I'm just trying to help. She met the guy. They had an experience. It's time to move on. He loves her. Stop worrying about it. She says as if I can get out of here. And you miss it. You're so mean. Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder if I have gluten in my teeth. Are 
You okay, honey? Now they know everything. Oh, well, so what if they do? <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to explain myself and nobody is believing me. Why do you care if they believe you? But that's what's so frustrating to me. It's like he should be here with us or I should be with him and instead I'm here feeling confused and I look like a fool to everyone. I know, I know. But do you really care what everybody else thinks? No. Do you really think he loves me? Yes, I do. See, they all think of him as some kind of celebrity. Not the guy you know. I just think of him as Holden. Mm -hmm. See, uh, believe me, I've been married almost 50 years, and I know what I'm talking about. What's going on, Vivi? Everything's fine. Okay, I want to sit next okay. to this little sweetheart. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Listen, sweetheart. I met your grandpa when I was 13 years old, and your grandpa was 18 years old. And I used to go to school, and I would alter my route so I could walk by the store where he was working so he had noticed me. And later on, when we were together, he used to hold my face in his hands, and he'd say, you're my doll. You gotta just forget about this Holden. You gotta forget about this guy. And you gotta find a man who'll hold your face in his hands and say you're his doll. That's what you gotta do. <coughs> oh, oh, hey. Honey, I'm so sorry. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm fine. Oh. I told Hetty she had to mind her own business. <laughs> She's the meanest thing. She can't be, can she? I mean, do you think that he really doesn't want to be with me because of a food intolerance? Well, if that's the case, he doesn't deserve you and he's a terrible person. Right. He's not okay. the sharpest tack in the box, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, well, it's not that. I don't think so much. You know, I, I mean, I think you'll come crawling back. I mean, they always do. You well, wait. That's mm -hmm. true. They do. They always mm -hmm. come back. Really? They'll be back yeah, just like do. your dad. <laughs> oh, right. oh, you oh, oh, Don't you start now, talking don't, about my don't son. Don't listen to them. He loves you. And I'm that's sure the it. story. That's the story. <laughs> and she's that's the to story. <laughs> oh, I love you anyway. <laughs> Even though I can't I stand you. I love you, you too. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to look him up. I don't really, it's his, I really don't want to know. Uh, profile picture of a beanie and a blue shirt. That sounds like him. Yes. Wait. Mm -hmm. So there's no pic with the girl then. No. Listen, there's no way he can be serious about that girl if he had a tantrum over you in front of his own girlfriend. The whore. In front of his own whore. It's like, oh, it's like really, really holding. You're you're picking that over me, and it's like he's touching her and he's kissing okay. her. Okay. All of a sudden, one of the strippers kicks me in the face with one of her heels. Yeah.